Huh. Robert Ellis. Yes. I thought, what the heck? I'd do a video of how I take care of my beard. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hmm. This is how I start off with this. This is a Philips Naralco. The smaller of the heads, click that on there. The smaller of these things, which fit, all right? And I set mine to numero eight, all right? Now, along the way, uh, where is it? Can you hear something? There it is. I may also use this, which is uh, to take care of uh, the balance, the lines, the etch at the bottom of my beard. Because this side has a tendency to grow longer, like in here, and it gets all messed up. All right, let's start. Hopefully the noise won't bother you too much. Hopefully I'm not, uh, I think I need to turn down the, I gotta be quieter. I gotta be quieter, yes. half of it done. Okay, scraggly half. Mostly done half. You gotta learn your beard. You gotta know your beard. You gotta have an actual beard. Okay? Learn your beard, know your beard. And really this is the easiest way I found to take care of it is one setting. Wow, for everything. Sides, chin, under lip, over the lip, your mustache, everything. Just buzz it, buzz it. What do we got going on here? So you see how this side here is like, oh, more messed up than this one over here? That's knowing your beard. So what I'll do, I'll take this piece, stick this here. Tighten it up a bit. All right, not done yet. All right. If I'm feeling lazy, which I usually do, if I'm feeling lazy, right, uh, I'll take one of those Naroko ones or whatever they call them and just buzz all this stuff off. And sometimes I use that just to, like in between. But no, I'm going to break out the gel. And the razor. 
What's important is that you have a razor that has one of those single razors on the other side, you know, single blade. You need that, all right? So let's, uh, yeah, screw it. Down the drain it goes. They're all very finely cut. Don't really have to worry about it too much. Get some hot water going here. So we're done using this. Pet peeve of mine, these people have these neck beards, uh, these things they call beards, which is just patches on your face. None of this applies to um, having uh, like a, one of those stubble cut things. But you can be pretty lazy about those too. You guys, you know if you got a beard or not. You know you got a mustache or not. Right? All right, let's take these glasses off. I don't like shaving because I have a high histamine content in my blood, which means anything that irritates my skin causes it to turn red and welt and stuff. It's always been a pain in the ass. Always been a pain in the ass. That's good enough. Okay, we can put that away. All right, this is a weird technique I use for under here. It just is. You just watch. See, I don't come in and do a direct cut here, right? Do this like seesaw kind of thing, right? Going up against the beard. Seems to work for me. And you know one thing I don't do because of my sensitive skin? I don't go against the grain. I don't give a shit. Keep hitting that. Road Mike. I just go down and that's it. Okay. All right. Now, got to watch my speed bumps. You'll see what I mean, right? Go easy the first time down to take off most of the lather and my speed bumps, AKA bowls, right? Be careful. You don't want to cut them. That sucks. Now I switch to the one bladed side. And I, and I bring it down against my mustache. I do. I'm not worried about Taking a few hairs off of my mustache. Okay, that looks good. Do the same thing for the other side. No speed bumps over here to worry about, but I have a divot. I have a golf divot on the side of the face here. Why? I don't know. One blade. Good enough. Looking for symmetry, but asymmetry is okay. Great 
Ciao. That's it. That's it. Robert Ellis.